You've all seen them in their hockey gear, but what about in basketball shorts? Leah Poyne has more on the men's hockey team. That's right, Amy. I took some of the players out of Aganis and into FitRec to see what skills they have off the ice. Their hockey skills won them a national championship, but what about their basketball skills? Did the guys' athleticism translate from the ice to the court? Let's find out. Tell us what happened with this blood here. Me and Gravy got into it down low, elbow in the face. He's a big idiot. <laughs> He's not a basketball player. While the guys were playing, we took the opportunity to ask them about the championship game and what it felt like bringing home the national trophy. What was going through your mind in the last minute of regulation of the Miami Ohio game? Uh, well, I mean, when they went up 3 1, I was pretty upset. You know, I was just thinking to myself, like, after this great season, like, how could we not win? And then, you know, we just got big guys to step up at the right time, so it was an amazing win for us. What did you see setting up the game winner for Colby? Didn't really see much, you know, I just I got the puck, I walked the blue line, um, and faked the shot, and they took my shot away. So, you know, Colby kind of rolled behind me, and I knew he was open because both of their uh, wingers drew to me and just gave him the puck because I knew he had a little bit of space. Tell us a little bit about the atmosphere at the school coming back after winning a national championship. Um, it was unbelievable. I mean, the parade, you know, there was a ton of people. We didn't really expect there to be a big turnout, you know. I mean, we knew we had fans here, but we didn't realize it was that big of a following. So it was great to see. It was awesome. We obviously have a lot of school spirit, and everyone has been really behind us all year. And just seeing the support that we had was truly unbelievable. It's something that I'll always remember. I know my teammates will, too. And it's just been an unbelievable ride, so just we're all thankful that our students appreciate us. You were a big crowd pleaser this season. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's it's kind of nice. It's, uh, it's funny. It's fun. Uh, I enjoy it. It's cool that the fans get involved in the games, and it's cool I get to be a part of that. Why do you think you had so much success this season? Uh, we had some great seniors. We had great leadership. Um, and we had everybody playing their roles. That's one thing that teams that aren't successful don't do. They don't have guys that play their roles and, and you know, they want to do too much. And we had every guy play exactly what they needed to do in order for us to be successful. So. What's it like being coached by Jack Parker? He's a very knowledgeable coach. He's very experienced. You can tell by his age. Um, but it's always, uh, it's always fun, always something new going on with him, and uh, it keeps things interesting for the most part. He's a phenomenal coach, and he deserves uh, to be the Coach of the Year award, which he won, and it's, uh, it's definitely a privilege to uh, be one of his players. Then, we pulled the guys aside and asked them about their teammates. Who's the biggest shot on the team? Obviously, I am. Whoa! We'll give, we'll give it to Kraus. I'd give it to Kraus. We'll give it to, give it to Kraus. Thanks, guys. Most dramatic. Joe. 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 Yeah. I'm all banged up. Uh, all banged up, guys. All banged up. Pretty much. He's got pneumonia. Who's yeah. the coach's pet? Matt Gilroy. Matt Gilroy. Alright, who's the best at playing video games? Yep. Yipper. Brandon Yipper. 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 Oh, Smalls good too. Yipper and Yipper and Smalls together. Yeah. Serious. About the messiest. It's any Canadian kid, any, yeah, any the Canadian. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, they're not raised they, as well as they're <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> they, expect them, they expect everything to be handed to them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. We asked them what their favorite memory of the season was, aside from winning a national championship. Probably playing with Maddie, my brother, just being around him a lot. It's been, it's been fun. You know we've fought most of the time, but other than that, it's been fun. Just being with the guys in the locker room before practice, things like that, the small things, those are the things that you remember forever. And the group of guys that we had this year was just unbelievable. So it was just great to be a part of it and the way we did it all. It was just fun to come to the rink every day with everyone. In the end, I think it's safe to say they're a little more graceful on the ice. For Terrier Nation, I'm Leah Blaine. And congratulations to Brian Strait and Kevin Shattenkirk, who have just been named the co-captains for the 2009-2010 season. I don't know about all of you out there, but I can't wait until next year.